All right, guys, we're out here on Sierra Avenue in Fontana, California, just above Randall Avenue. And boy, they're bringing in the cars. I just got here. They've had a couple cars in here already. They had one towed. I don't know if it was from here or towed from somewhere else, but the tow truck went by as I walked up. Right now we have two Harley Davidsons. A car just pulled in. There's a couple more cars there. This truck's gonna be pulling in. They are pulling them in. So I don't know if they're checking tags, driver's license, what? He's got paper tags. Uh, paper plates, so maybe they're going to check his new vehicle registration. So we're out here at the DUI checkpoint in Fontana, and I've got an audience. I'm not going to film a bunch of kids laughing at me, but uh, that's it. Tijuana's Tacos. Tijuana's Tacos. Come get a taco. All right, so there we go. Uh, it's, this DUI checkpoint has been brought to you by Tijuana's Tacos. So this is actually my alma mater, Fontana, California, is where I graduated from. And over here, the 99 cent store used to be a grocery store. Uh, it got robbed. I don't know, remember how old I was, 12, 13, 14. But the guys took off with guns in their waistbands and bags of money. We were riding our bicycles up here and they came in front of us and jumped a brick wall there into the apartment complex that was next door. Down here, they used to have a uh, pet shop right at the corner. Uh, I believe that shoes style selection store right there is on the corner. But there used to be a pet shop there, and there was a gorilla in there in a cage. A gorilla sitting in a cage, and we used to go in and play with the gorilla and feed it. So I guess people are trying to park for Tijuana's tacos, and they said, no, we're having a DUI checkpoint. So, no, you can't do it. Um, the Fontana PD is out here though with their DUI checkpoint and several police cars. Man, they are pulling them in quick. They are not playing out here tonight. They are checking them left and right. I mean, it sounds like they're ordering hamburgers. Give me another one. Give me another one. One up, one up. Cheeseburger, 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 cheeseburger. So that's what it sounds like over here. They're just yelling, coming in, coming in. Or oh, they don't have any, anywhere else to put the cars now, so they're going to have to wait a minute because there's nowhere else to put the cars. They're full. Full up parking. She just issued him a citation. And this truck's getting towed because he's walking off. So she just said, can somebody move this truck? He's not allowed. I don't know if it's a suspended driver's license or what but she handed him a citation and told him to tell your story walking so this truck will be impounded he will have to walk that gentleman's gonna have to walk might as well just stop in at Tijuana Tacos and get something to eat it's gonna be a long walk So they're going to have to move that truck over to the tow area. She took his key, car keys from him. So that's going to be an impound right there. And they're asking over here, uh, do you have a driver's license? Do you have any alcohol today? Me, I've had sweet tea and water. That's about it. Sweet tea and water. No alcohol for me today. Maybe later when my feet are up at home, my keys are on the nightstand. It's usually what I do. If I'm going to start drinking, I'll put my keys on the nightstand by the bed, and then I'll go and sit in the living room or sit on my bed and drink, but I don't drive. You might hear some booms and bangs over the microphone. I don't know if I can pick them up or not. But this is Fontana. July 4th is a couple weeks away, so you're going to be hearing that. <clears throat> so there goes the truck. It's going to be towed. It's been impounded now. The driver has walked off. And he's still asking him, have you had any alcohol today? Seems like a 
very happy officer. <clears throat> Ooh, drive belts. I don't know, did you guys hear that? He needs new drive belts. She's trying to get in the car. She's trying to get back in her car and officers telling her no walk over there or something. He was pointing and she tried to get into the car and sit down and he stepped in between her and the door. Or is she trying to grab something like a purse or something? Oh, he's taking her car key, huh? Or something. This don't look right. Something's off. My spider senses are tingling. This car gets to go, yippee. And she's now getting stuff out of the car. See his stance with his feet? That's in case he needs to grab her for any reason or something. Maybe she'll jump in and throw the key in the ignition or I don't know, whatever. Um, but usually that's what that stance is when they have their feet apart like that. That's just not a normal way to stand. That's in case he has to move fast on something. Which 98% of the time you don't, but that 2%, you got to be ready. You know what I mean? <clears throat> and uh, for anybody that's going to go, yeah, okay, you're an expert. Yeah, I've been to police academy too, actually. Decided to take another career path. Now I think I'm, I was younger then, you know, though. I had a younger, had a different mindset. Uh, wasn't as uh, exposed to the corruption as I am today. And I'm not saying all police officers are corrupt. Please don't read into that. It's just that there's so many cops nationwide that are bad. The good cops get ostracized by the community for no reason. So anytime you good cops see cameras, you should just kind of walk up and say hi or, you know, show off a little. Not show off, but uh, community relations, guys. Community relations. Like Felipe Hemming always says, we need more dialogue. You know? We need to know that there are still officers out there that do care about their community. She is cleaning out her trunk, so that car is being impounded. That's why she was kind of arguing or whatever. Maybe she was trying to get some stuff out of the car and he didn't want her to reach in there. But she's cleaning the trunk out, which is an indication of impound. Most definitely. And that's the girl that just pulled in. That lady just pulled in. Not too long ago. Five minutes ago, maybe? Ten? <clears throat> Police with integrity, is that what that said? There you go, that's what it's all about. And these are, this is my, uh, this is my, uh, what did I say earlier, my hometown. This is where I grew up, man. My al alumni, is that what I said? So, uh, these cops better make me proud, you know what I mean? All right, so there you go. And uh, when you focus in, when you go telephoto like that, you do lose some of the uh, clarity, some of the HD. When you zoom out, that's when I can get my 4K But I don't want anybody thinking that I don't have HD or my camera's not HD. Sometimes I want to get a video up really super quick, like an audit when I'm out on the road. So I use SD over data. You lose some of your, some of your um, definition. When I wait, if I wait to get home and do it on Wi-Fi, I can get HD. So another Harley Davidson coming in. Boy, they're pulling the Harleys in tonight. I actually grew up here when the Hells Angels were rampant in Fontana, California. And they have bikers everywhere. My dad used to uh, be friends with a few of them. 
And they'd go over and drink and play cards while us kids played in the yard. We ran around the bikes playing, and man, there was Harley Davidsons all over the freaking place. Us kids would play in the yard, and they would have fun. So yeah, I grew up with Hell's Angels and bikers and all of that. I grew up with them, man. So I had a guy one time got upset at me, said, uh, <clears throat> Yeah, I got friends that are, you know, of the hairy kind, you know, long hair and bikes, like Room Room Harleys. And I started laughing. I said, dude, I grew up with the Hells Angels. What the hell are you talking about, man? Fontana, California. Google it. <clears throat> there it is. There you go, guys. Oh, she got pulled out of her car and walked up. Indication of DUI. I could be wrong. I'll retract that statement if I have to. Maybe it's just a suspended driver's license. You never know. So he's going to have to wait over here. And she was asked to walk away. She's... We'll see what happens. It might just be a suspended driver's license. I retract the statement about possible DUI because you never know. It might not be. And I do want to say everyone in this video is innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. <clears throat> couple motorcycle officers here. Okay, and then there's an officer driving this car. So, it may just be you no know, suspended driver's license or something, but it looks like he's setting her up for FST. And look who it is, Armada Towing. We haven't seen them for a while. Where did I see them before? Redlands, I think. But uh, there's... Armada Towing Service, if you want a tow, call 888-989-3131. Armada Towing. So call them and you can have a tow. <clears throat> How about that, guys? Shout out for Armada Towing. So she's doing the FST field sobriety test. Yeah, I haven't seen Armada towing for a while, and uh, and I'm not talking about just towing, like, you know, for the police to take your car. You might be broke down, and you need a tow, and say, God dang it, I need someone to come get my car, you know, call them. Say, hey, I need you to come get my car. <clears throat> And she went right back to her car, I think. Oh, she passed? Oh, no. She went to get in the car and he tapped her on the shoulder. Wow, she passed. All right. Good job, ma'am. Good going, girl. No, I'm really... I like when they pass because it tells me that they're not drunk driving give us in they're towing a van there it is i heard the chains on the tow truck i just didn't know exactly where the tow truck went it looks like they're towing a van <clears throat> so good job she passed it looks like So that's why I said you never know, never know until they get done and they're walking away. I never say, oh, that person's drunk driving because, you know, and there she goes. We got something going on over here.